Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome back to another math session. In this session, we'll be dealing with statistics. Statistics is the science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data. Prior to collecting that data, you have to verify that you do have a statistical question, and that's one with multiple answers, where you have multiple answers that are varying from one another, not the same. Uh, second, you have to then organize that data into a dot plot. Uh, a dot plot is a number line that shows how many times a value occurs. Then we're going to analyze that information, and lastly we're going to interpret it. So we already have the data has been collected. We've already organized it in a dot plot, and the title of this data is King. Ja I'm sorry, LeBron James points per game. King James. All right, we have from 25 points to 32 points, and we have we have all of those. Uh, data values in which he scored last 15 games we have them plotted on a dot plot so there are three components we need to uh, identify with the analyzing part of this data before we can go ahead and make an interpretation of the data we have collected so the first part is are there any gaps in this data okay we do have and again all these three uh, last components we're going to talk about in the analytical part when we're analyzing uh, they're all literal terms. A gap is there's literally going to be a gap in the data set. So here's a gap from 25 to 27. And there's also another gap from 30 to 32. So we've identified the gaps. Next, we need to identify the cluster. Again, a cluster, very literal again, is going to be the interval in which the majority of the data is within. So look at the cluster here. Here's a cluster of data here between 27 points and 30 points. That's where the majority of the data rests. That's our cluster. Uh, lastly, we're going to identify any peaks that the data may have. It can have multiple peaks, but in this case, there's one peak in which 28 points repeats itself the most. That's where the data does peak. All right, so we have analyzed that data. Now we need to interpret the data. So we can interpret that LeBron James in the last 15 games, his points per game average around 28 points. So that's again our interpretation of the data that we have collected. All right, boys and girls, if you have any questions during our Google Classroom session, uh, please pose it to our discussion board in the essential questions section. And I'll see you guys in class. See you. Bye.